Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I have a haul for you from a few different shops. I will put the links for those below. I will also put any referral codes or discounts I currently have access to listed down there as well. And I have links to my social media, so check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know that you like what I am doing. If you're interested in different planner hauls and things like this, be sure to subscribe. I will also let you know that with the holidays coming up, I will have some giveaways coming up. So be sure to look out for that. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. I purchased a few different um, things from a few different shops. Today I've got the Giving Girls Sweet Bean Plans, an item that came in from Wish that I wanted to check out, and some things from So Cute Planner. So the first item I'm going to go ahead and show you is what I got in from Wish. I do not know the um, seller's exact name, but I wanted to show you these little planner related stickers that I got. They would also be great for um, scrapbooking or anything like that. Let me grab something with a white background because these are clear stickers. And I'll just kind of show you these. They're a calligraphy set. It says Petite Deco stickers. So here you've got, you know, movie, happy birthday, Monday, bon voyage, Sunday, um, laundry, just various different um, writing styles that you can use in your planner. Then we've got another page here, missing you, yes, holiday, birthday, um, mix, sunshine, keep going, smile, healing day, so sick, uh, smile, sad, fun, bye-bye. Um, there's a few little things I don't know what they say, um, but anywho, so it's very versatile. I just figured that for the price I paid, it would be totally worth checking out and seeing if I liked it. So, and then here is like the black and white version of some of the ones we just saw. Nothing super fancy, but still, I figured it would be great to throw into my planner as I uh, need extra little space fillers. So. I can't remember how much I paid, but I want to say it was somewhere, I know it was under $5. So that is all that I got from Wish. The next order I'm going to go ahead and jump into is Sweet Bean, is Sweet Bean Plans here. Um, I continuously have orders come in from her shop, so you do see her shop a lot. Definitely check it out if you have not already because I am obsessed. She's also very active on her Facebook. So, she has been very obsessed with doing coffee trays and I guess I purchased enough to get some free coffee trays. So I'll show you her newest ones for now. I'm sure she'll have more come out on $2 Tuesday. So this is like the little frozen version here and you've got let it go and you've got like the little monster. And you've got her long braid there and Olaf. So you've got that. And then this was the Moana themed one. I was very excited for this because my daughter loves Moana. I'm sure she'll like Frozen too. We just haven't watched it yet. And then here is Tangled. My daughter also really likes this one. So I just thought those were super cute. I did not order those though. I think she just threw them in. Next, we've got our little freebie. It's a little Halloween freebie. You've probably seen this in one of my other hauls. I think I've got a copy. We'd have to see. I might not. It just looks similar maybe. And then next, um, I got this other little freebie. It says iced coffee. And you've got the little frozen coffee tray here in a large sticker and then some little banners and a box. And then this is a duplicate for me, but that is fine. We've got Paranormal Captivity. She has these different journaling cards. And then into the stickers I actually ordered, I got the little, um, I believe Ellie or Elle the Elephant reading. I'm currently working in, on my uh, master's degree, so I thought this would be good for noting days that I need to take some time to read my textbook. I got these little Target Run stickers with beans sticking out. And I've been really good about not going to Target too, too much, but I figured why not go ahead and get them for when I do have to make a Target run. And then again, this pertains to school. My weekend is booked, and this will actually be perfect for a lot of my weekends coming up because they are going to be focused on doing homework. 
Next, I got these cute little Halloween mugs. Although, um, by the time I'm filming this and by the time they came in, Halloween has already passed, but I still wanted to go ahead and grab them because I really liked them and figured I would use them for next year. Then I also got the little emoji beans. Um, I like to memory plan and sometimes I like to just say like my daughter was excited about something or um, she really loves something. So I thought these would be cute because they've got like little happy faces and heart eyes. Um, they've got angry faces and stuff too. Maybe I can use that if I have a bad day. But I just thought they were super cute. And then I got this either brunch or breakfast one. Again, um, pertaining to my daughter, sometimes I will get up on the weekends and cook pancakes or my fiance will get up and cook a full breakfast. Um, so I just thought those were super cute. Then back to school, we got Bean reading and sitting on the textbooks just like we did with the elephant. And I went ahead and grabbed these. Some of these are fall related, some are Halloween specific. Um, I could still use the fall ones. And I could also use the Halloween ones in my memory planning. And then these are like game day ones. And I'm not into sports at all. But we do occasionally go to like a Super Bowl party or we'll go to someone's house. And you just kind of see everyone collected on the couch. I thought maybe it would be good for memory planning. And just look at all the little characters. They're really cute. You've got the little cat. You've got the penguin, the giraffe, and bean. So I just really liked them. Um... I got another school related one. So here's Bean reading a book, breaking a pencil in frustration, writing a paper. And um, I just thought they would be really cute. And I don't actually have to go and sit in class, but um, there are times you get frustrated with homework or you've got to write a paper or whatnot. And then I got these little payday and excited ones. I just thought they were cute. I got the sick day or allergy ones. I have terrible allergies and living in Kentucky, you never know when they're going to act up. So I just thought they were cute. I'm going to say that about a lot of things. I think all of her stuff is super cute. Um, I got these little crystal ones and for no reason other than, again, they were cute. I just like them. And I like that this has the purple behind it. Um, you know, it makes me think of amethyst and that's my birthstone and my daughter's birthstone. So figured why not. Um, I love sushi, don't get to get it very often, but I went ahead and got the little sushi beans because I liked them and I figured I could use them when we actually do get sushi. And then last but certainly not least, I got these little clean the closet typographies because I like to make it a point to try to seasonally clean out my closet. So that is everything that I got from Sweet Bean Plans. I think I actually combined two orders in this case, that's why it was so large because I usually just place multiple small orders. Um, and sometimes I catch them in time that she'll combine shipping for me and ship it all together. So that's everything from her, and there's probably another order on its way, I'm sure. Okay, and then lastly, oh, never mind, I've got two shops. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go through So Cute Planner because I believe it is a little smaller of a stack um, than the Giving Girl, and then we will finish off with the Giving Girl. So as always, with So Cute Planner, she does um, she does donate 10%. Um, let's see, she donates 10% of her purchase to um, Children Cancer Research Foundations. I just want to make sure that I um, let you all know about that because I think that is a very important and a very good cause. So definitely check her out. Um, here are the items that I ordered from her. She had these cute little sheets here. So I grabbed this little, um, oh, I guess, well, hold on. Okay, I guess this was a freebie. So you've got the little Thanksgiving um, owls and little mellow characters and football and bow headers that are really pretty. And then these are the ones I actually grabbed. So I grabbed these little elf on the shelf. We're not actually doing elf on the shelf yet, but I just thought they were cute and figured I'd go ahead and pick them up. I grabbed these little Starbucks cups and you've got like the seasonal ones that they have every year and I thought they were adorable. And I figured maybe I'd make note when I occasionally splurge for a Starbucks. 
Um, these are like little holiday treats. So you've got little donuts, coffees, hot chocolates, that kind of thing. Again, just a cutesy little deco piece. Um, some fall owls, and you've got kind of your little pilgrim owl there, and your like lovebirds. And they were just a really good price, so I went ahead and picked them up. Um, the little Christmas fox, again, they were a good price, and I just thought they would be super cute. Even if I don't use them in like my weekly plans, I could definitely use them in my memory planning. And then we like to do movie nights at the house. My daughter's not old enough to go to a theater yet, so I just figured I'd go ahead and grab these little things, you know, use these for the at home, and then maybe when she's a little bit older and we start taking her, we can use these little ticket mellows. Then I grabbed a few, um, let's see, full box sheets and I think one washi sheet. So this one is Black Friday and I'm actually not going to use it this year, um, but I really liked it. And if you pay attention to my November monthly plan with me, you'll see that I used a box very similar to this. That is because I pulled that box from another So Cute Planner kit. So, um, but I really liked it and I figure I will hang on to it for next year. And then I grabbed this Merry and Bright Christmas. I just really liked it. It's got some page flags over there for you. I only grabbed the full boxes because I have more than enough of everything else. But I thought it was adorable. And if I don't use it this year, again, I'll hold on to it for next year. Um, I think this one was called Harvest, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm probably going to hold on to this until next year because of that turkey. I think it's beautiful. You've got the white pumpkin there. And I just really like it but it will probably be put away. And then I grabbed this washi page and headers. Again, I just loved it and there was a good sale going on. So I went ahead and grabbed it, but have no set purpose for it. So that's everything I got from So Cute Planner. It's a very um, random order, but I just kind of went through and picked out some things I really wanted to get. And then my last order I'm going to go through, it did come with this sticker die cut here. It is from The Giving Girl, and it's always got like a cute little um, wax seal on it. It's actually plastic, but it looks like a wax seal. I think it's plastic. I don't know. It feels like plastic. Anywho, so I will show you how she wraps her orders. Um, she always puts a beautiful seal on the front, and they are usually come in a... Um, plastic envelope as well and then getting into it you get like a little sampler here um, and so oh okay so usually it is a sticker sampler only I believe I've only ordered maybe one other time but in this situation I got a washi card that says the given girl and it's got foiling on it and then I also got this freebie here and their little um dots with the flags on them dots with bows not flags so i did get that little extra and then i had ordered three grab bags and i believe they're here we go it says it right here they are oops grab bags so they might be minorly flawed but i've never had any that are too flawed so we'll go through each of these i do see some similar uh, similar items in each of them, so I'm just going to open them up and kind of go through it. I probably won't take too long on this because I feel like the video is long enough already, um, but I will try to show you all of the details. So, And we will have duplicates, possibly even triplicates of some of these. So we got another um, foiled bow clip here. It's very pretty. It does have some minor flaws as it is expected with an oops grab bag, but it's still very pretty. And then we've got these candles here. And this is not my first set of these. I have not figured out how to use them, but I will figure out something out. And they are that hollow. It's beautiful. Then this is kind of similar to the um, sampler that we got. And here's the exact same one. I guess it's just a little flawed. And then we've got a page of the little bow clips, and they are kiss cut. Some full boxes, or half boxes, uh -huh. quarter boxes. I'll get my sizes right, and they are foiled. Then some in white. And this is not my first time getting these. These look so good in the horizontal layout. Oh, 
You know what? These are individual. I thought they were the um, checklist strips. These are actually individual kiss cut bows, so I could use those however I want. Place them however I want. Let's look. Uh, this was the Epic Summer Sampler, and it's foiled. I don't see anything wrong with it, but maybe the foiling has some minor glitches. And then I love these. They're little avocados. And me and my sister have an ongoing joke about avocados, so these are perfect. Then we've got some more of our little bow clips. And I got a full page. Oh, I got two full pages here. So you've got various checklists and different sized boxes, and they are foiled. And I really don't see anything wrong with this. Maybe something's miscut somewhere and I'm just not seeing it, but I think it looks great. And then it looks like I got page three and four of a kit, which is awesome. I love when shops pair together pieces of kits in their grab bags. So um, here we've got some little strips up here as headers, some page flags, some bows, and various size checklists and headers and even habit trackers down here. So very, very cute. So that is my first grab bag. Then my second one, and go ahead and get that open and I am seeing some duplicates, but that is fine. Well, so, and it does look like I got some pieces of kits in each of these, which is awesome because I've never gotten one of her kits before. So here we've got another one of those um, bow clip um, stickers. Then we got some more of the hollow candles, some more of the foiled bow dots, again, more foiled bow dots, some full boxes, and I see some glitches on them, but that is fine. That is expected, and I think I got this upside down. So then we've got more of the bow clips in different colors. I gotta figure out what to use these for. I've got so many now. Then some full boxes and some little headers. I really don't see anything wrong with these at all. And then let's see, this is page one and page two, and it is foiled. It says Cozy Sunday, and it's like a photography kit. I'm trying to show you the foil. And then we've got our washi strips over here and our date covers. And again, I don't really see much wrong with it. Maybe these date dots down here were supposed to be foiled. I don't know, but it's very pretty. I really like it. So very happy with that. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm going to be very happy with any of this. I, I don't have high expectations for an oops bag. But when they come out with almost everything top quality, except for a few little um, things that don't look right, then I'm perfectly, perfectly happy. And I really like getting Oops bags because it lets me try out the shop without having to spend full price. I'm currently trying to save a little bit of money. So we've got these little foiled dragonflies here. And then we got another one of our bows more of the candles and then these are little scalloped boxes show you the bottom of those again scalloped boxes and then some full box or er, quarter boxes here and again i don't see anything wrong with them i think they're beautiful um then we've got some more of our quarter boxes more of the headers we've already seen, and then more of these clips. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with these clips. Might put some in some happy mail. And then we got this washi page again, but I love it so I could see myself easily using it twice. And then, oh, we got two bigger pages in this one. So this is fall romance page two. Didn't we get fall romance? Hold on. We got fall romance. So here I got page three and page four, and now I have fall romance page two. That is awesome. So these are the washi strips and the check boxes to do headers and date covers here. And these are headers, not full washi strips right here. So now I have three pages of a kit 
And then this one kind of looks like it goes with my other one. Maybe it does. Um, so we've got some washi strips here and um, little headers and some half boxes and some full boxes. And this might actually go with, I think it does. So I think I've got page one, two, and eight of this kit. So that is really awesome. So that's everything that I got from the Giving Girl. Um, I only purchased the three Oops bags and I've got lots of these bows now. And if I don't find a use for them, I might um, include them in some kind of sticker de-stash or something like that coming up. If that's something you might be interested in, uh, make sure to comment below and let me know. And um, maybe some of these will be sent your way. So that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for checking out my YouTube and I hope you have a great day. Bye.